We're live. What is going on, guys? It's me, Andrew here. <laughs> I was just checking my microphone to see if everything was set up because I don't want to look like a total idiot trying to record and my microphone is switched off. So today we're gonna be uh, looking at action. Uh, this is gonna be pretty much one of my uh, my setup videos, thingy majiggers for um, recording games. So action, action is an alternative to the Ugh. It's an alternative to DX Story and Fraps, and so yeah, I mean, I was recording a bit earlier. I had a little sample f um, clip showing Modern Warfare 2 right there um, before the video or the tutorial began. So let me just go ahead and walk you guys through how to set this thing up. And I um, have a friend message me on Steam, but you guys don't care about that. So when you guys install it, uh, it's a regular program. Go ahead and install it. Uh, pay for it. Do whatever you can to get it. You get the program, and uh, here we go. So right here, you can change uh, where you wanna save your um, your pretty much your game footage. You can go ahead and click cancel, and then you guys can see right here it tells you the current um, setup for the hotkeys. I can go ahead and change it, show you guys that later on. But you guys can change the recording mode to from game to uh, desktop to selection of your screen. Go ahead and close that. But we're gonna set it on game. You're going to change the format to AVI or MP4 if you don't want to record in high definition. So a a AVI. Uh, video size, we're going to change it to 720p. You can also leave it on 1080p or 480, but I'm just saying, if you're going to use 480p, you might as well use MP4. And uh, you might as well, if you're trying to record like a montage or anything, it's much better when you have it in 1080p. But 720p for your average commentary. Uh, the frame rate for YouTube will be 30 frames, not 60, unless you're making it. Like I said, you're making a, a montage or something where you need the extra frames to make um, your slow-mo look good. And then you want to click record system sounds. Um, for microphone, uh, you click, well, I don't know why it's checked on do not record. Uh, but go ahead and click always record. And then what else are we going to do? What else are we going to do here? We want to go to the next. Next, next thing we gotta do is we gotta set up the audio wall. We're not really gonna use this unless you wanna record, like let's say, um, a a commentary. You can use this to record your voice instead of like let's say Sony Vegas, and then you can import to Vegas later. But that's just too much work. You might as well use um, Sony Vegas to record your voice. And then we can go ahead and go to the benchmarking option. You can go ahead and tweak around there if you want to, and you can set the option or the duration of the benchmark. I guess you see my system set up right there, 12 gigs of RAM, let's go. Next thing you can set up is a screen uh, screen capture or screenshots. You can change the file format to, let's say, JPEG or whatever. Go to settings, under settings, you have general settings, you can mess around with that. Then you have the uh, video recording settings, okay. I put mine on normal, you can put on high if you want to, but for best settings in most games average and normal will be good unless you're playing a game like let's say intrusion where it's like one of those pixelated graphics that you can put on high uh, you can use multi-core rendering you record your mouse cursor uh, you can visualize mouse clicks if you want I haven't really used that and if you're playing a game like let's say League of Legends where uh, you want to like put like some advertisement crap all over your screen you can go ahead and um, use the graphics overlay and import a file go ahead and cancel that you can also ch uh, check your webcam I put my webcam as always on. I don't know why every single time I launch this program I have to go through my settings again. Uh, I record my webcam and I can change that to the webcam that I want so that I can get my face and well my webcam and the gameplay in at the same time. Uh, you can uh, you have up to two webcams and you can pretty much uh, set them up to where you want them to be displayed like you guys can see me right there. Ooh. And I think I can I should be able to move this around. Okay, let me click the bottom one. Well, still the same thing. Okay, so then we can go to audio, and um, under audio, we can change this to our audio headset. So let's put it on uh, headset microphone sound blaster, which is what I'm using. Turn up the volume to 100. Um, and then right here, uh, you can also record the audio to a separate track, which is good. But you, this can only work if you're using AVI, so you can pretty much manipulate it in Sony Vegas afterwards. Uh, what else are we going to do here? Okay, so um, after we're done that, we can uh, change the regular or main audio device into uh, our headset. Or you can just leave it on system default, but I'm using my headset, so I'm going to change that there. The bitrate, you can leave it at, um, 
a default but if you know the correct bitrate setting for your microphone you can go ahead and set it up or the audio I'll just leave it on system default so that I don't screw anything around uh, when you're recording you get a HUD and you can pretty much choose where you want the HUD to be so like you know the number the counter and whatever but in um, Malaris action I think that's what the program is called it looks really good so I, I keep mine in the top um, top left top right corner of the screen and you can go to export settings and under here you can change uh, the export folder uh, where your where your um, where your game uh, your game files are exported to mine is pretty much in the videos folder so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and leave it the same way it is like I say in most of my uh, pretty much setup videos for recording games it's much better if you have a second spare hard drive that you can uh, save the game footage to it just makes everything run much better there uh, we have what else oh right upload settings you can configure YouTube remember password leave it I'll just leave that off and here is the holy grail uh, to use this program you can, you're gonna have to like set up hotkeys so um, under this you can just change the recording hotkey I use F9 um, just like fraps or whatever uh, if you want to just record your audio alone you can use F10 you don't have to press all of them simultaneously uh, you just press record audio and it will record your webcam plus your microphone plus the game and the game sound uh, if you just want to record your voice just hit F10 benchmarking capture shots everything is there you can click next and it will take you to the next uh, stuff uh, but the cool thing is that you can change the keys um, to any function key that you want you can bind keys together or or do anything that you like um, so pretty much I'll just leave everything default and that is it we're, we're done here we are done we are done so I'm gonna guys I'm gonna show you guys a, a quick 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 um, pretty much uh, sample of how this looks like in Sony Vegas so let me go ahead and open up action and oh yeah I forgot to mention when you guys record your foot f um, video footage you can double click on it and it has a little action player well it has a little uh, player you guys can see me there so let me go ahead and close that and I can right click on it open up a folder and drag that into Sony Vegas and then we can play through it let me just go ahead and turn down the volume of my system so you guys can save it and that is pretty much all you need to know what else do I have to call you can also allow uh, multi-channel audio recording but I leave that off um, but yeah that is it that is it for this video so yeah guys if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe later